girl. How's it going? You look great today, by the way. Love that dress on you. I wish I could pull that off. Like, literally. I wish I could pull that dress off from you. So, uh, you got my number? Shoot me a text after I get done making this video. We'll, uh, we'll talk. Oh, what's it about? We're gonna talk about sex. Come on, let's talk about sex, baby. Hope you got yourself a big old glass of water because you were looking a little thirsty. So let's talk about sex. We're going to cover two different topics. Uh, we're going to discuss both being attracted to and having sex with trans people uh, and what our own, or as trans people, our own sexual orientation <clears throat> and kind of how that changes or doesn't change as we transition. So I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. Trans people have sex, like a lot of sex, like a lot, a lot of sex. Trans people have sex as much as cis people. Now I know what you're thinking. That's weird, but it's not. There are, as I like to put it, straight guys and lesbians like dick too. It doesn't make someone gay to be attracted to a trans person. So let's break that down a little bit. Um, and perhaps why people think that way. There's a lot of societal transphobia and a lot of misunderstanding about the trans experience and about what trans people are like. If you spend any time exposed to trans people, then you will quickly come to understand that trans people are just like anyone else of their gender. Be you spending time around trans women, it's the same as spending time around any women. We may be a little bit more likely to get horny on Maine, but that's debatable. I talked a little bit about this uh, two weeks ago when I was discussing kind of loving yourself and how that tra in societal transphobia can impact us as trans people and our own uh, perceptions of ourselves and our own validity. So that societal transphobia reflects uh, sorry, comes from other people too and is reflected upon romantic partners. Even for somebody who is extremely open, uh, not open, someone who is extremely not transphobic, someone who is extremely accepting, someone who is trans attracted, there is still a, 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 a mental disconnect in that our society has never taught us exactly what these things mean, exactly what it means to be attracted to someone who's trans. And a big, big problem is we don't have the verbiage to discuss it. People try their damnedest, but again, we don't have the verbiage to discuss it. I've run across terms like trans attracted, which I don't mind. Uh, I've also run across terms like gender, uh, sorry, genital preference which a lot of people have issue with. It doesn't bother me so much because, again, it's people trying their best with the limited verbiage that we have. Uh, as time goes on, of course, the, the verbiage in the conversation is getting a lot better. There's a lot more understanding about the trans experience, uh, both internal the trans experience and other people experiencing uh, transness in the world. It's important to understand, or it's important to, to be able to articulate a thing that we already know, because once we have the ability to describe it and discuss it, then we are able to assimilate it a lot better. So I'm going to tell you a little bit, a little story about myself, and hopefully this will make a little bit more sense. For myself, when I was still stuck in a boy's body, I considered myself bisexual. Uh, I no longer do, but that's for the second half of this video. So I consider myself bisexual because I have always been attracted to trans women. I have always been into both cis and trans women. And I thought from my own limited understanding that because I was attracted to trans women, that that made me gay. But since I was also attracted to women, then I was obviously bisexual. 
which is not how it works. I have come to understand that that is not how it works and that I am not actually bisexual. Um, I am a lesbian. And I'll discuss, again, that's the topic for the second half of this video. But it was because I didn't have that understanding that it was, it was, society had taught me that trans, that women and trans women were not the same. And so if you are attracted to trans women and you consider yourself gay for it, that is horrifically transphobic. That is saying that trans women are somehow different and other from cis women. And we're not. Women are women across the board, regardless of genitalia. So it's important for people to understand that it's the same thing. Like, if I were actively bi if I were actually bisexual, then I would be as attracted to uh, sorry, if I was bisexual and trans attracted, which I am, or sorry, which I am definitely trans attracted, then I would be attracted to trans men, which I'm not. Guys in general are just not my thing. I'm not attracted to men. There are some exceptions. Um, you know, Chris Evans, you got my number? Call me. But generally speaking, I am not attracted to men in any way. So it's important to understand that trans and cis are the same gender. If you're attracted to a woman, you're attracted to a woman. And that's where genital preference comes into play. I have a friend who loves tits, like really loves tits. And so we were having a conversation once. This was before I uh, came out as trans, before I realized I was trans. Uh, and she was talking about how much she loves tits, but she could never hook up with a woman. Uh, and the reason for that is because she prefers dicks. And she is really turned off by vaginas. So I countered that by saying, so that means that you would be perfectly fine if the woman had a dick. And she's like, yeah, obviously. So she's the kind of person who would have a genital preference. She is attracted, she's bisexual. She's attracted to men and trans women, but not cis women, generally speaking. And so genital preference is really the best verbiage we have to explain. So it's important that we, we understand and that we analyze what exactly it means to be trans attracted. Uh, and there should not be any kind of societal stigma attached to dating a trans person, even though there is like a lot and that sucks. As anyone who is trans and dating can tell you, it sucks. But I don't have a solution for that one. I don't really have any insight into that one. It just sucks and we need to try harder as a society. Let's move away from being attracted to trans people and then to trans people and our attraction to others. One of the things I really like about being trans is it has afforded me the opportunity to do a lot of introspection. Am I bisexual? Am I a lesbian? When I was st stuck being a boy, I was still a lesbian. And I'll explain what I mean by that. I recently was on um, a subreddit, a lesbian subreddit, read, uh, r slash actual lesbians. So I was on this subreddit and I was reading a, a thing where someone was talking about why she was attracted to women, what made her a lesbian. And she was talking about all the ways that she is attracted to women. And it was things like, they've got soft skin, they've got soft lips, stuff like that. So even as a straight guy, I was never attracted to women the same way that society and my peers and whatever told me I should be attracted to women. They, so I was never attracted to a woman the way a dude is attracted to a woman. I was attracted to a woman for all the reasons that a lesbian is attracted to a woman. They've got soft skin, they've got soft lips, they've got 
squishy bits in all the right places. I love women. Really do. No surprise to anyone who knows me. They came, it made me realize that a boy who's straight and attracted to women is not the same as being a woman who's attracted to women. And I had never really analyzed these thoughts and feelings before about what any of that meant. It was just, I liked women before and I was a guy, so I was straight. I like women now and I'm a girl, so therefore I'm a lesbian. It was just, whatever the term for that is. There's a lot more to it than that. And I feel like as we transition, we need to do these kind of self analysis and help understand it's part of the journey, part of discovering who we were supposed to be from the beginning, but haven't been able to. But you don't need to be trans to have that self reflection. Like just as a society, we should always take a moment to kind of reflect and under perhaps understand why we feel and act a certain way, why we think the things that we think, to help better understand ourselves and our societies. On that note, I'll let you go. If you dig what I'm saying, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm back every week or two with videos about the trans experience. Uh, next week, we're going to talk about the holidays because it's almost Thanksgiving here in the U.S. You can join the journey on Patreon. The money goes to this channel and the other channel. If you dug what I have to say, then I welcome you to subscribe. Check out any of the other videos over here, down here. They have my face on them. And uh, I'll see you guys next week for the holidays. Yay. Hate the holidays.